Hey guys, this is Tepco Sock Repair. Today I'm doing an oil change in a 2006 CRF 450X. Um, this one here, I'm going to be doing it on the um, transmission side or the gearbox side or clutch side. Um, so there's a couple things I'll go over. Um, this side of the bike right here, I'm using some light on my camera just to show you, but we have the fill bolt right here. And then we have the uh, check bolt right there. And that check bolt, all it's saying uh, in the manual is that you want to get the bike level, open that up and you should have a little bit of oil coming out and above that you can see 750 cc's goes in here we're going to do it a little different we're going to be putting in a full cord on this side um, it's uh, if you look it up some people say it's uh, you need to do that so you don't have any failures some people say it's from 2006 up you don't have any failures so um, you know it doesn't really matter if you put a little bit more on this side it's not a big deal all right so let's go over to the other side that's where all the business uh, takes place here All right, so this side here is where we're going to be looking for our drain bolt. All right, so the drain bolt is underneath here. Okay, it's a 12 millimeter. It's back down underneath here, right there. Okay, so there's our, our drain bolt. This one right here is for the uh, engine side, and this is for the clutch side. So I'm going to go ahead and drain this out right now and get this drain, and then we'll talk about the uh, oil that I use. It's a long bolt in here. Again, you don't want to over tighten these. So I just ran the bike for a couple of minutes, let it get warm. I'm going to just take this out slowly. There's a crush washer behind it also. It's going to get all over your frame. There's really no way to, uh, to stop that unless you really let it drain slow. but. As soon as you get this bolt out of the way, it usually comes gushing out. And there it goes all over my frame. All right. All right, so that's how long the bolt is right there. It's got a crush washer. If you want to replace the crush washer, you can do that. If you're doing a lot of oil changes, uh, you know, replace it every few oil changes. I'm sure the book says replace it every time, but if you guys ride a lot, do a lot of off-road dirty stuff, you want to change that out. Um, quite often so all right what kind of oil do I use on this side um, again I'm using the shell Rotella T triple protection all right the main things you want to look for in oil is that it's uh, JSO JSO MA certified uh, you know if you want to right there it says JSO MA the bottom uh, this circle right here Make sure it doesn't say energy conservative or resource conservative, whatever the new thing they want to put on the bottom. Make sure that that's empty right there. Uh, get your viscosity range where you want to be. Um, and that's about it. Everything else, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into a big oil conversation here, but, you know, some people say to use motorcycle oil um, or use the Honda oil. Honda doesn't make oil, okay? They just put their label on it. So uh, let's not worry about that. Just use uh, what you like to use, um, you know, especially for the clutch side. Make sure it's JSOMA certified so it doesn't have any um, molly in it or anything that's going to cause your clutch to slip. So I'm just going to let this drain out. And then when it does, again, I'm going to put um, a full quart on the other side. So it's 946 cc. So I'm going to start filling up my oil here while I'm waiting that to drain. And I like to use a um, ratio right cup. What I use for my oil changes works out really good. I'm a big two stroke guy, so I use it for mixing oil a lot. So I'm going to fill this thing up. It's got uh, 500 cc's, is what the cup will hold. So let's go ahead and fill it up. You can't see me filling up with oil, but no big deal here. Just filling the cup up. I'll show you when I'm putting it in. All right, so I'm going to start out here with with uh, 500 cc's. I'm going to put uh, you know 900 and 900 and 
just under 950 cc is what we'll put in there all right so this is done draining right here so let's get this back in now with this bolt on this side you want to get in here and uh, start it by hand because it's a long bolt and if you get it in crooked it'll feel like you're, it's going in but it's not and uh, you don't want to go in there just tearing it up stripping it's kind of you got to get it in the right spot there we go you'll know because you'll be able to just free spin this in a good amount with your fingers and if you can if you you first start it and you're turning it and it's hard to turn uh, you're not it's not in the right place there okay want to make sure you get it in the right place see I got a bunch of free spin in here nice and loose I'm in the right place okay so I'm gonna spin that all the way in until it gets tight give it a little more give this a good uh, wipe down over here just like to keep everything clean All right, now we're going to go on to the other side. All right, so on this side here, I'm just filling it up, nothing special. So we got this nice little funnel. Kind of helps because it's just. You can't stick a funnel, it doesn't have a, a deep hole where you can kind of stick it in there, so you know it doesn't sound right. Whatever, here we go. So here's 500. <laughs> this one here is uh, I got the supermotor conversion on it. And it's street legal, so I get to uh, ride all around, and have fun. Let me adjust this camera a little bit, guys. I feel like you might not be seeing me pour the oil in. I don't want anybody upset with me. There we go. Should be able to see it there now. Some people like to put in the uh, recommended amount, 750 cc's, but it uh, seems like the going rate for this here is uh, to put in a full quart. So. I'll do that, I'm probably, I'll put 900 in here, it's a little bit less than the full quart, somewhere in the middle. Think about this funnel's got a because the hole's small on the bottom, it doesn't pour in really quick, but we're almost there. But, you know, this is uh, pretty much all there is to it for the transmission side. You want to make sure you warm it up so it drains out quickly, all right? And then uh, for this side here, you're just gonna have to decide. Here. You just have to decide, uh, you know, what kind of oil you want to use. The last thing I would recommend is going on a forum and asking somebody what kind of oil to use. If you want to start a big debate, go ahead and do that, but I wouldn't bother. Let's let me put the uh, 400 more in here. Just right at 900 cc's is where I'm at. Now for this side, there's no checking afterwards. You just put the right amount in there and fire it up, and and uh, it's fine. The other side, you want to warm up, and then you have to check the dipstick. This is it. This is coming in 900 
cc is almost done here it's 150 cc's more than than it says in the side in the book so it's really not a big deal but i'd rather do that than take a chance of burning something up you know the key with all oils guys is just making sure you change them at a regular interval um, if you're riding in the street if you're riding in the dirt um, it's all going to be a little bit different if you're in dirty conditions riding real dusty and dry conditions they say they change it more if you're riding it in the street you know get yourself a good uh just a good regimen to keep it clean i mean we're talking about you know what less than two quarts of oil do a full oil change on this thing not something you want to neglect so I'll drop this on the floor so let me wipe it up quick all right that's all there is to it real simple um, transmission side again make sure you got JSO MA oil at least uh, no mollies or anything in there any extra stuff for lubrication you don't want any of that you just want your regular good oil um, some people use transmission oil and everything. I'm not going to get into all that again. Those are big oil conversations, but I'm using that shell. Patella T, triple protection. I use it in a lot of different things, or I use the you know, shell uh, T6, which is the full synthetic. So uh, either one, you, know, you pick what you want and stick with it. And uh, that's all I got, guys. Until next time, ride safe.